he finally responded to Leia's beacon. Billy D. Williams is coming back as Lando Calrissian in Star Wars Episode Nine. This is according to the Hollywood Reporter. It's not officially confirmed by Billy D. Williams or Disney, uh, but here's some fun news. Billy D. had some convention appearances scheduled mm -hmm. coming up. He canceled them. So that should let you know some things. Like, He's busy doing something. And he was on the convention <laughs> circuit. He was going around talking to fans, everything, answering questions like, "Will you show back up?" He was. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Lando's going to do. <laughs> Things like that. And so <laughs> to hear Have this. Have a smooth Colt 45. 45 in a galaxy far, far away, ladies. <laughs> far away. But, but the, to hear this, you know that he's going to film some scenes for it, which is good because this hopefully will quell some of the, quench some of the fire mm -hmm. that's been going on around the Star Wars universe. Mm -hmm. You know, people weren't really upset about Leia's death, but everything no, else. We're, we're, Carrie's death, really. Well, Carrie's which death will was, mean that will that means a lot. But the character in the in the series was like, okay, we get that. But there were so many other things. Everybody was just, oh, burn it all down. <laughs> but now you hear Lando Calrissian, the originals returning, especially after Donald Glover's performance in Solo. Yeah, it, it makes people at ease a little bit. It's a breathe, some brevity. Everybody's like, okay. Well, he's calm the last. Down. He's the last one from the originals. From the that originals. really re br bridges over. I mean, canonically, Han is gone, Luke is gone, Leia's, Leia's gonna gone. be gone. Yes. Who's left? It's the man we've been. I mean, I want to know where he was because I really. On an island with a bunch of sexy purple women. <laughs> that sounds right. Nothing but capes and coronas. But Lando, you're better than that. <laughs> you should have responded to Leia's beacon at the end of episode I eight. Was you busy. should have been in Canto Bite, maybe being the Grandmaster or just there at the casino. I had a poker game to play. <laughs> oh, not at the casino though. <laughs> at a different casino. <laughs> <laughs> Lando was somewhere else like, I don't need this in my but life. But he's, he's, a, he's a really important character. But I think we'll have all those answered in episode nine. If J.J. Abrams is smart. better have smart, a good reason. If, if he's smart. He just pops up and was like, hey, What's Mr. Up? Party, what's going on? <laughs> like, uh, sir? Then that's we what people will have. You. you know, we needed you. <laughs> then that's what people will have their frustrations again because of that. But I, I'm hoping and praying because Disney's playing it safe. Mm -hmm. Going back to J.J. Abrams, he'll know that they need to establish where he was all of this time. The reason he couldn't be there. He couldn't come right away. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, yeah, they have to explain where that is or why that was or where he was mm -hmm. at that time. Because I think while Lando is on the same page as Han, I think he's a little bit more altruistic ultimately. Of course. Because, yeah, he does start off as a smuggler who just does his own thing. But over time... I mean, he in the original up. trilogy, yes. he does warm up. He, he warms up. He did betray his friends, but he did it to protect the city, huh? And then he <laughs> learned that you can't make deals with Darth Vader. You can't fight evil with evil. No, you can't. A lot of people find that out, even Luke Cage. But that's a whole nother series. But he's finding it. But so those questions now after that have been opened. Mm -hmm. What happens? What does he do then? Where was he at? Was he exiled? Was he lost? Was he arrested? Things like that. Now we find out. Mm -hmm. Officially, I think that's what's going to matter the most, the answers that we get. I really hope he plays a big role and not just he shows Some, up oh my God. for a second and was like, okay, I'm out again. Billy D. Williams seemed like the type of person. He'll tell you, give me the whole script. And he'll do every <laughs> scene you ask him to do. He's not just showing up All for right, one I'm day. I'm playing Ray in this scene. Okay. <laughs> I heard you're supposed to be a Jedi. <laughs> Have you met your parents? I met it's your me, parents. It's me, your mother, Lando Calrissian. Oh my God, no wonder I'm beautiful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a lot of uh, unanswered questions that I would love to have answered. But that's the culmination Lando of a Lando is the of kind of guy who I think would sacrifice himself for the greater good. He did eventually on the Millennium Falcon, yes. where knowing going in, it could blow up and I could die in it, but I'm still going to do it. I'm going to do it. A Lando sacrifice can't come at the end of the film like Leia's did, in a sense. Mm. If Lando does sacrifice himself, unfortunately, it has to be midway through this film so we can absorb it and go for it. Because you don't want to leave more. out the theater again like, I, I just can't. I need a cape and a cane. You just don't want to go through that. Oh, or we could just leave him alive. We could. We could sacrifice someone else. We could CGI anybody's uh, body with Billy Dee's face. Keep <laughs> this going. Did you like that video? Then you've earned the right to hit the subscribe button. You also have that right if you felt so-so about it. You can do anything. I believe in you.